Good morning. It has not been a productive day so far. I've started watching the new series of Making a Murderer and the last one consumed literally all of my time. So I'm trying to limit myself to an episode a day. But it really sucks you in. It's such a good series. But famously, it always has a real effect on my productivity, which is not good on day four of a song in seven days, I'll be totally honest with you. So I'm just wondering what I should actually do next. I feel a lot better about the song today, having given it a bit more time, just let it rest. It's almost like proofing with dough, you know. Before you bake the bread, you've got to leave it and let it rise for a bit. And I know that seems like a bit of a weird metaphor to use in this scenario, but it is quite appropriate. I'm wondering whether to do lyrics, I'm wondering whether to just sort of do the next bit of the song, I don't feel like it's far enough along to play the piano on it because I want to just be able to sit there and kind of play like a nice piano part continuously from end to end and that's going to require knowing the song basically inside out before I do that. I'm wondering as well as the lyrics today and the melody I should actually think about some of the production elements, things that make soul music what it is, but also some ways in which I could twist it around. I know that I've actually talked about how I'm going to change the drums, but I've had a couple of ideas about what I could do with that to make it a bit more interesting as well. Now the first thing that comes to mind when I think about soul music production, I think about the string arranging, which is just amazing. But at the time, the recording equipment wasn't that good, so quite a lot of these string recordings actually sound quite lo-fi. So I thought I could try and combine the two things by doing a string arrangement with all my sort of plugins and sounds and things like that, and then making it sound a bit older, so it gives you that older vibe. But obviously to modern listeners, they'll go, oh, that's like a lo-fi string sound. So that kind of works on two fronts. Obviously that will require me to actually arrange the strings. And I don't want to do that just yet because I want to make sure I've got the melody down before I do that. Because then I can weave in maybe the melody at the same time, counter melodies, etc. So my next step after this is probably to actually finish the melody. Another facet of soul music in the production is that the piano tends to be quite central. It tends to be very closely recorded, but it doesn't tend to be central in the same way that it is in modern pop music. So it's not always the source of the harmony. Sometimes it's playing little riffs and licks here and there. And I'm more inclined to use it in that way than I am just hammering out chords because, well, I actually just prefer playing like that anyway. And obviously yesterday I recorded all the guitar on this. so I've got that kind of under harmony going on anyway. And I mentioned it a couple of days ago as well, but the bass guitar is going to be very, very important. And I keep sitting down every now and then, just playing the track through, getting the bass guitar out, seeing what bass lines work. And I feel like I've got some ideas going with that, but I do need to let that rest a little bit longer before I carry on. Well, I've done it. I've persevered and I've got my melody. I'm really pleased about it, actually. It's a quite a nice little thing. It suits the genre. And it's just one of those moments where I've sat down and it works. I think when you look at the title of this series, A Song in Seven Days, you think that isn't a long time. But I think it's just about how I time it. That's how I do this. I think really taking the time in between days and going off and doing different things is what yields some of my best ideas. So now that I've got a melody for the verse, I need to come up for one for the break strain bit in the middle. But I don't feel as familiar with that bit. So I feel like maybe I should actually just move on to writing the lyrics. But I'm going to have a bit of a break now and come back to it later on. Maybe I'll watch a bit more Making a Murderer. In fact, yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. <laughs> So I've decided to write some lyrics down here for a change of scenery. I don't know whether I'll keep the television on, it is very very tempting, but I feel like if I do that I probably won't get much done, but we'll see how that goes. So yeah, like I was saying, I've got my first verse already, so maybe I can write a few more verses. Also I've put myself at a real advantage because the refrain is the same every single time. So there we go. Now, I never in a million years thought I'd be saying this to you today, but I've actually made a lot of progress. It was actually my plan to take it pretty easy today and just enjoy my Sunday. But I've spent the last few hours writing lyrics pretty much constantly, and I've almost done. And obviously, I keep saying this, and I keep stressing the importance of walking away from my work, but I think what I've got is pretty good. And I am going to leave it there for today, lyrics-wise, but I don't think I'll have to change a lot tomorrow. I've genuinely been quite lucky, and it flows quite nicely, but... I ought to start thinking about some of the production elements that we talked about earlier on. But before I do that, I'm going to treat myself to another episode of Making a Murderer, a cup of tea, and this roll of Ikea chocolate. 
Today has been a great day actually. I feel like I've got a lot done and I've also been able to relax. I feel like tomorrow is going to be a full steam ahead day with production, checking those lyrics over that I've written today and hopefully putting some really interesting twists on the song. But I don't quite know what I'm going to do with that yet and that's the exciting thing about songwriting isn't it? And particularly about a song in seven days. We don't know what's going to happen next. Now that I've started doing this on a daily basis you're probably starting to see that this isn't really as linear as you thought it was. Previously when I was doing this I'd obviously shoot all of the footage and then edit it afterwards and the thing about that is I could go oh well not much occurred on this day but I can build a bit of tension by saying that something happened the next day but with this you're seeing it as it happens and I'm sat here now and it's nine o'clock at night and I have no idea what I'm gonna do tomorrow on this song and neither do you that's the wonderful thing about this we're in this journey together now a song in seven days is about you and me following the story of this song from start to finish tomorrow is day five so we've got day five six and seven to finish this and the wonderful thing is we don't know what's gonna happen do we so stick around I'm excited to see what happens.